So at this point I want to introduce with our topic, all successful speakers do these three things, do you, Wiki Verma. Wiki Verma, all three, or all successful speakers do these three things, do you. I work and have worked with hundreds of business professionals throughout the years. And I asked several of them, when you look at meeting a speaker, hiring a speaker, what are the things that matter the most to you? What are the things that you would pay your hard-earned money for to bring somebody in? Consistently and consistently again, passion was one of the top characteristics chosen for a speaker. Passion. because. If you don't care what you're talking about, why should anybody else? Why would it matter to anybody else if you're not invested in your own topic? And when you look at these things, when you look at passion, it's, what, is, what is passion? Am I being passionate? Am I being truthful? If I say, I'm confident, yet I speak in a low voice and step backwards while I'm saying I'm confident. Am I being passionate? No, passion is determined through not only the words that we use, but how do, we, how do we say them, our non-verbals? So it makes no sense for me to say, I'm confident, yet meekly walk away. Very different. When you look at what passion is and non-verbal is, and how we want to transition into our topics, we want to make sure our message when we talk, when we speak to somebody, it is received well. You don't want to just talk for no reason. You want the other person to experience it. And that's what we're going to do today, is not take you to a little drive to grandma's house, like I say, but to take you on an exhilarating roller coaster where you are going to feel and learn things today that you will instantly be able to apply tomorrow. When you look at the three skills we're going to focus on, it's going to be one, posture, two, gestures, voice command, and then we're going to go from there. Let's start with, of course, posture. When you first step in front of a room, there are so many things that people can already determine about you, just by your stance. So much is already determined. Is this person confident? Are they fidgety? What are they doing? So first, let's start this brief exercise. Everybody, please stand up. It's been a long day already, a couple talks. We're going to relax for a brief second. I'm just going to take three deep breaths in and out. Just follow me in. you, look how everybody's standing. I would say about 97, 98% of the room standing, shoulders down, arms to the side. Yeah, please, have a seat. And that's to show you right off the get-go, you want to be seen as somebody that's relaxed. Nobody wants to come up here seeing somebody that's really nervous, excessively nervous. You want to be up here being relaxed, and that's the best way to do it. What I call home base, standing, shoulders down, arms to the side. Is this easy to do? Absolutely. However, the only problem with it being easy to do is it's easy not to do. A lot of us take breathing for granted, and it's hard. But when you're up here, the heart's beating. What, what if this happens? What if that's happening? You take a couple deep breaths, you ground yourself, and instantly you're in a place where people go, that person's a professional. That person is standing confidently, head up, shoulders back, arms to the side. And that's what we're going to do. Relax. There's also a lot of no-nos, and we're going to be seeing, through, seeing these throughout the day. But Kyle, we see a couple right now. Kyle, can we get a warm hand for Kyle? <laughs> Kyle's going to demonstrate some of the no-nos that we have that you will commonly see uh, everywhere. Not in Toastmasters, of course, but other places. <laughs> Let's start with one. Mm -hmm. I know <laughs> <laughs> what Kyle is doing right now is just fidgeting. Playing with his finger, the ring, whatever it may be. I call that the playing pose. When people are nervous, they'll be up there playing with their hand or something like that. That shows that person is fidgety, they're nervous, they're maybe not as prepared as they'd like to be, whatever it may be. Ah, two. I call that the pulse check, holding the other wrist. And what does that mean? It means a little, a little bit timid, not showing where to put the hands, holding it there. Hands in the pocket. Oh, I know my stuff. I'm a big man at campus. How are you doing, huh? 
very nonchalant, <laughs> overly confident. And when you're up here presenting to people, again, you want to be relaxed. You don't want to say, I know more.